Good evening, YouTube, and members of the Temple of the Adversarial Forge. <clears throat> this is Paul. Um, I'm going to crank out a couple different videos tonight. Well, Lucifer knows how many. I really want to get some uh, practical exercises to you, get into my toolbox and kind of give you some things you can integrate into your own practice. Um, but, you know, I've got to do some things first. So I need to get this out of the way. This video is going to be more of a rant. I don't even know where I'm going with this. All I know is uh, there's certain buttons being pushed within me. So really this is an exercise in emotional control because I'm highly irritated and pissed off. I've been trying to do this video for the past hour and that doesn't help. I just keep getting rudely interrupted by the most random things. It's driving me insane. <laughs> first things first. The debate between atheistic and theistic left-hand path practice. Stop it. Just stop. You are wasting so much valuable energy and time. So much. You know, if you want to get your worldview and your belief system out there, then talk about it in a positive light, okay? In a productive way. And you're going to do a lot better job at promoting yourself and the path. When you're constantly slandering people, trying to cram your worldview and belief system into people's throats, you're no better than a Christian. And I don't even like to judge them, you know, because I've honestly met a few of them that are more useful then most of you go get them Satanists, <laughs> so whatever. You know, this debate has been going on forever. What makes you think you're going to be the one to win it? What makes you think that? Let me tell you something in regard to uh, jujitsu that correlates with this, that corresponds with this concept, okay? For every submission hold there is a way to escape and counter each and every one. The same goes for this debate. People ask me, are you theistic or atheistic? And I say, I'm both. And I'm neither. I'm tired of it. You know, I don't want anything to do with it. I'm really tired of watching people that I really love and care about and appreciate put so much energy into something for no good reason. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Because this is useless. And I literally see people that post nothing but slander about somebody because someone's running this McCult someone's telling this lie someone believes this and it's BS someone believes that and it's not you need to join this order because it's this you know look I don't want it and please stop you know I believe in you more I have higher expectations I really do you know, you're supposed to be more productive than the average Christian. This is supposed to be a way of life for you. Not just a hobby. And it needs to be applied in everything that you do. Every breath that you take is a miracle. And I don't care if you're theistic 
or atheistic. I really don't care. It still holds true. It still holds true. It's a magical thing. Every breath you take needs to be cherished. And you should, you know, try to do things that are going to enrich your life and the life of the people that you love. Okay? The people that you care about. Okay, that's where I'll go with this. Forgers have heard this come from me a few times, but I'm going to elaborate on this concept. If you decide to step on this path uneducated and you accidentally get somewhere within it and you act out of hate, you're acting out of fear because there's only two core emotions that exist love and fear okay now so you step onto this path just because you hate Christians and everything they stand for you're acting out of fear and you will undo yourself eventually theistic atheistic or not because I tell you what I've followed a lot of different paradigms and they all produce results which is why I don't care what anyone believes in because if you're getting results all power to you but I like to do what I like to do but you're gonna undo yourself because this is very real it does produce change and it does produce results especially when you have any kind of discipline and uh, drive to get somewhere within the occult world We can't afford to act out of fear. All right, fear-based religion is Christianity. It's its right-hand path paradigm. There is no room for it within the left-hand path. So here is the ironic part. And this is something... Okay, now I'm getting really upset. Sorry. Where was I? Breathe. Okay. Um, hate. There's no room for it. The ironic part about the left hand path, and this is something that uh, I've learned through Mark Allen Smith. Well, not directly through him, I suppose, but through working his current is that our hearts have to be actually more pure our intentions have to be more pure than the average Christian, Catholic, Buddhist, Taoist, Thelemite love and devotion is very important okay because when you're a negative person working with primal energies, dark forces. <laughs> bad things can happen. I mean, it's a bad formula. It is. It's a bad formula. The Black Adept has to always act out of love. Okay. A lot of people try to create this duality that uh, divine love and divine wrath are separate things, and they're really not. Even the most baneful curse that you do should be based with on loving intent to protect those that you care about, to protect those that you love. Is this not love? I don't care if it's a death right. You still need to have the mentality that, you know, you're doing the whole world a favor, including the person you're doing the baneful magic on. Because you're teaching them a lesson. You know, I don't know, figure it out. Figure it out up here. All I know is it better make sense up in here, in the heart. 
You keep carrying around this fear and this hate. And it's your it's it's a self fulfilled curse. You're a slave. You know, this stereotype that Satanists are evil, wicked, douchebag people that just kill and maim and sacrifice babies and come on, this is Hollywood stereotype. And that's what cracks me up because I see a lot of these people that claim to be Satanists, rebels, right? They're wolves, not sheep. Yet they've created a whole entire opposing subculture to Christianity. They're all dressed in the same way. Black nail polish, black fucking lipstick. I mean, come on. You're a sheep. You're enslaved. You're no different. Most people within the world that know me think that I'm uh, some kind of Christian. I don't, I don't say that I'm not. I don't. I just live my life, you know. Because what I believe, it doesn't affect anyone else in any way. Just like what you believe isn't going to affect anyone else in any way. The only thing that you can change is yourself and the circumstances and your life through will, desire, desire and belief. Okay. So with that being said, those that are stepping on the path just for the sake of rebellion, rebellion for the sake of rebellion, I would ask that you write a list of reasons, and this is something I posted in the last video. You write a list of reasons why you want to walk this path, where you want to go through it. What do you want to get? Draw out an initiatory map in regards to how you're going to get there. And this is going to do two things. Number one, it's going to cause you to question yourself. Which is going to help you to validate yourself as the one who is in control. It's also going to help you understand where you stand in regards to your belief system and your world view, which is going to help you gather materials, books, grimoires that are more conducive to your personal goals. Okay, in other words, if you are a theistic Satanist, it would really be kind of counterproductive to read LeVay. Okay, it would be counterproductive to try and um, look into anti-cosmic currents like Temple of the Black Light or anything like that because it's not even gonna fit in here you know this is gonna help educate you and understand that you have the right to be who you are And I do not believe in karma, but I do believe in magic. And magic is basically cause and effect. And you're only going to get away with being a douchebag for so long before it bites you in the butt. And I watch it. And I smile. I don't necessarily like to see it. But... With that being said, I'm just going to shut my mouth, and I hope that somebody uh, bears with me, listens to this message, and gets something from it, you know, because it really is heartfelt. I probably put too much energy into caring about other people and trying to help other people. Maybe that's my character flaw, but, you know, I see way too many people being the opposite and then I look at the condition of the world 
and the religions that are causing these co these conditions within the world and I'm I'm kind of hell bent on being who I am which is a loving man who likes to help people and who wants to enrich and better his life through the black arts and destroy the stereotype that is placed upon me whether that be through any god or source of media infernal blessings to all devour destroy become or be crushed Palma Hayes, I'll Draconis, signing out.